Okay, next up, three pounder. This requires a little bit more muscle, but the, the, the concept is still the same. You have a nice, even pressure on everything. Once again, we're going to start with a nice dry bat here. Excess clay off there. That's our three pound ball of clay, wedged nicely. Fold it into a nice ball there. Throw it down in the middle. That takes some practice with the little movement on there. You just want to get a nice, you don't have to slam it down, you know, but you just want to get a nice, good, solid connection to the wheelbase there. Once again, clay wet, hands wet. Okay, right hand gets pushed in the same way. Now, this one requires a little bit more lean. There's a lot more clay here, so you really want to lean into this. So, once again, hand against the wheel, elbows into your legs. Tuck your legs in there, get your legs wrapped around there because the, the wheel is steady. We want to use the wheel steadiness to help us here. So, hands nice and wet, pressing in with the side here. You can see. Once again, look where the clay is hitting my hand. The clay is hitting my hand right against the heel there. That's where the centering is going to come. Over the top. Getting closer. You can see here, this is where all the clay is hitting. This clay is just rubbing against the side. I'm not really putting any pressure with this left hand on there. All the side pressure is coming from my right hand up here. Only pressure I'm getting from my left hand is right below the thumb. And that's to kind of help push down the top a little bit. Okay? So, push in this bottom clay. Do as much of that as possible. I'm going to center this guy right now. Here we go. Pressing in. Easy off. Pressure, just slight pressure down, then hold as still as possible. Easy off. That one's pretty close too. A little wobble at the bottom. Nothing too bad there, though. And that guy's centered pretty well, too. There's our three pounds. So the idea is the same. Just pressing in with that left, right hand, pressing down top with the left hand. Nice center piece of clay there, too. Not bad. The last one, the biggest one. This just takes a lot of practice. Throwing big uh, pieces of clay. Um, you really got to be centered uh, from the very beginning. If you're wobbling a little bit from the very beginning, that wobble will magnify and magnify at the very end of the piece, and you're just you're working against yourself if you don't get this centered at the very beginning. So, nice clean bat. There's my big old piece of clay down here. All right, taking that guy. Whoop! Let's see what happens. <laughs> Try that again, only without the oops this time. Okay, nice big five pound piece of clay here. I'm going to stop my wheel this time when I throw it down just so it doesn't run the risk of jumping off the wheel here. Let's take this guy and just pop him in the middle. Put him down there, alright? This guy's good to go. So give him my wheel a little speed here. Okay, once again, save yourself the muscle time. Try to get this as close to being round as possible when you first put it on there. You know, if it's really misshapen or oblong, you really want to kind of tap this into a kind of a nice sphere so that, you know, it's, it's really ready to go for you here. So, uh, for bigger pieces, you really need to uh, kind of take a different technique here. Just pushing into these guys makes it really hard. Your hands aren't big enough, um, and it's really a lot of clay to press against you here. So there's a little bit more of a uh, different technique here. So, process here is still the same. We're going to get this nice and wet. Hands nice and wet. Okay. And when I come to this one, I'm really going to, before I do more top pressure, I'm going to use two hands this time to really kind of squeeze this clay together and try to get this taller. The taller the clay is, the easier it is it for center. If it's really low and stubby, it's really hard to kind of control. So 
My goal here is to make this more of a tall cylinder shape to kind of get this centered first, and then I can push it back down into a nice ball shape again. So this time I'm going to be using two hands on the side here, this part of my left hand, this part of my right hand, to come in here and really push these guys together. Got my elbows and my hips push into the clay here. I'm not trying to push it across the wheel, I'm just putting a little bit of pressure and stopping, trying to get the clay to just kind of conform to my hands. Come in here, push the clay together, give it a little squeeze, and I'm going to slowly just raise my hands up to the top, coming to a point. So it's kind of taking over here. It started out here, and then I'm going to raise my left hand up, so I'm kind of coming over the top here, and now I'm putting pressure on here. Started on the sides, coming up to a cone. I'm trying to make a nice cone shape here, and then easy off. All right, do that again. That's what hands push in just a little bit, raise my hands up, squeeze all the way to the very top, and then easy off. See how nice the center that's starting to look? Okay. If you try to just push all this at once, it's too heavy, it's too thick. It just takes a lot more practice when we do that. So this shape of this way of bringing this clay up to the top. So this time I'm really going to squeeze in at the bottom, try to get all this clay down at the bottom in, and I'll raise it up again. So really squeezing in with the bottom of my hands, pressing against the wheel, squeezing in, squeeze all the way up, putting some pressure over the top with my left hand, and easy off, okay? That's not too bad. Now, to bring this guy back down, give him one more squeeze here. All right. To bring this guy back down because this is not a good shape to start with if you're throwing anything here. We want to make sure we have a nice, smooth kind of mushroom shape, ball shape. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm almost going to bend the clay over, and as I bend it over and press down, it kind of corkscrews itself back down in the main hump here. So, I'm going to take my right hand and put some pressure with my right hand. I'm really going to take my left hand and press my thumb over the top and really kind of give this guy a little gentle pressure in and then down. And as I press down, It'll sort of corkscrew itself back into a ball shape. So, I sweat again. Elbow in my right hand, left hand over the top. I'm going to press in here. I'm going to press it with my thumb on my left hand and just kind of press this over and then down into the clay. Like that. Pressing in, down into the clay. Hands nice and steady. Okay, pressing in, my right hand, down over the top of my left hand. Once again, the bottom's gotten a little off center, I can press that in, or I'm just going to press down here on the side, try to press straight down, and get rid of some of that clay that's on the bottom that's kind of throwing my centering off here. It's good to keep your wheel nice and clean on the base, because that's where your hand's resting. So if that base has got clay on it and your hand's moving up and down, you won't be able to get this quite perfectly centered. Okay. One more time, just pressing in my right hand, down with my left hand, and it's not too bad right there. All right, it's a pretty centered five pound ball of clay. Put my finger up against it, finger's pretty still at the base. I've got some movement down here. Once again, you can kind of rip some of that off. Pretty still, okay? So that's centering. Practice, practice, practice. You should just take this and really just practice on doing one-pounders first, and you can center, you know, ten one-pound balls of clay, and you can move on to some three pounds, and then once you've got those down pretty well, try some heavier pounds like this. But same technique through the entire time: steady hands, wet hands, pressing until you feel pressure, and then easing off. Take a couple times to try it. Good luck.